we have here looks like a simple post. We have a title and an editor. But what if we want to specify exactly what's available? For example, with a movie collection, maybe it doesn't make sense to have a full editor. Maybe we only want to have an excerpt section. If we return to our args array, we can pass another parameter, and this one is called supports. Now this will be an array that specifies what WordPress types our custom post type supports. Now you're familiar with most of these, for example, the title, should there be an option for the title. Let's add that in right now. Now if I come back and refresh, we have a simple override that allows us to insert the title. What else do we need? Well, what if we have a section for a thumbnail of the movie? Okay, well WordPress offers that type. Let's add it back in. And now we can upload a featured image for that post type. Let's consider what else we'd need. We could have a full overview of the movie or a simple description. It's up to you. We're gonna keep it simple and we'll use an excerpt instead. And there we are. And now we have a small summary of what this movie is about. If you need more info, you can replace that with the full editor, like so. Now in this case, I don't think it's necessary. So we'll keep it at excerpt. Next, do we need to allow the user to insert custom fields? If so, we can pass that as well. And now we have an option here where the user can insert their own custom fields. In this case though, we're going to feed it to them. So I'm not gonna give them the ability to do this. So now we have an option for them to insert a title and an excerpt, as well as upload an image. In the next lesson, we're going to take things further because consider with a movie database, there should be an option to enter the actor's name, the genre of the movie, the length of the movie, all of these should be available to us. We'll do that in the next lesson.